Welcome to World History. Today I'm going to give you a preview of what we will be learning about this year. So let's get started. How's it going everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade and I'm here to help you understand history just a little bit better. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear which unit I am most excited to teach about this year. But before we get to that, we should get back to the beginning. Not counting the beginning of the year procedural stuff or pre and post tests, there are 14 units that we are going to spend time on. Looking at the list, there's one thing that stands out to me and that's that the units appear to be laid out in an order that seems to be sequential. Please understand that there is overlap, meaning that history is not a neat timeline with one thing happening after the other. Rather, it can get messy. This is why I love teaching history, but does make for a challenge. So just know that the order that we teach these units is designed to help make sense of it all. The first couple of units to start the year are going to cover skills that you will need for the remaining units. The first is geography skills. Basically, this means map skills such as latitude and longitude. Then we'll get into historical inquiry skills. This just means to think like a historian. Our focus will be on types of sources such as primary and secondary. The last unit of the first quarter is about early humans. Here we will look at the transition from hunter-gatherer groups to those who developed agriculture and metallurgy, the very roots of what we call civilization. Now that the seeds have been planted, we start looking at specific civilizations. The first we will talk about is Mesopotamia. This is where we will get into cultures such as literature, art, and architecture. We will talk about important figures and leaders. From there, we will move into Egypt. We are going to follow the same pattern and talk about their culture and advancements as well. There is a lot to unpack with these two civilizations, so that is why they are the only two units of the second quarter. Coming back in January, we will journey into our next unit, which is Africa. Now, there is a lot of ground to cover in this continent, so it might seem a little condensed, but we will cover the geography, cultures, and histories as best as we can. From Africa, we move into India. By now, I assume you have figured out the theme of focusing on cultural achievements of each region. We again will focus on the society and advancements. And from there, we head to China, and the focus will be split into early and imperial China. So we will be spending more time here. But there is a lot of time to cover, so it makes sense. Because remember that history is not a neat timeline, repeating that, so we will be doubling back a little more here as we go over the contributions of the Chinese. We end the third quarter by looking at the first half of Greece, focusing on the classical, their architecture, philosophers, and early governments such as city-states. After spring break, we move into Greek civilization and focus on their culture and their later empire. Here you will see direct connections to our form of government today. After we wrap up Greece, we move into Rome. Again, it is split into two parts, the first focusing on the days of the Republic and their advancements, and the second focusing on the Empire and culture. The final unit of the year is the Americas, both North and South. We will look at the emergence of civilizations across the two continents, where they came from, how they lived, and how we are impacted today. So, that is a quick rundown of the units we will be studying this year. So that leads to the question that I posed earlier about which one I'm most excited about. Well, I hate to disappoint with this answer, but really I'm excited to go over all of the material. This is because there is not one simple answer for how we got to where we are today. And you have to look at the whole picture to be, even begin to hope to understand our place in history. I hope that you are excited as well and that throughout the year we can work together to put this puzzle together. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you're excited about. What unit are you looking forward to? And while you're there, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my other videos like the ones you see on the side over here. I have other history videos and civics videos, US history, world history, you name it. Also I have videos shot in 360, so be sure to check them out. I know you're going to like them. So, for Virtual History 360, I'm Mr. Wade. I'll see you next time.